As we continue to live in this pandemic, adapting our everyday norms has been a challenge, especially for our keiki during our holiday season. Join us with some helpful tips to keep things fun and festive this holiday season is Carissa Kano, teacher from Ma'e Ma'e Elementary School. Good morning, Carissa. Th uh, Carissa, thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, it's our pleasure. And uh, you're a first grade teacher from Ma'e Ma'e Ma Elementary School, is that correct? Okay, things going good. So as an elementary school teacher, tell me, do you have any fun educational activity to suggest for families during this holiday season? Absolutely. You know, a great way to hone in on your students' geography and diversity skills um, is to research a country and see how they celebrate Christmas. Um, for example, you could take a look at Germany. You can make their flag with your kid. Um, a lot of our Christmas traditions actually originated in Germany, like decorating a Christmas tree, making an advent wreath, making an advent calendar, even gingerbread houses. Um, so something you can do with them, you can make some mulled wine. Of course, there's a grape juice version and a real wine version for all those homeschool teachers out there. <laughs> um, and you can do lots of fun activities with them, as well as maybe making a Venn diagram, compare how... Other countries have traditions that are similar to us and different to us. How we can appreciate that. And that's amazing. I had no idea about all those facts from Germany. And it is just a great thing. We cannot just be confined to our homes. We could still go out and learn about the world. So uh, great for that. Next question for you, Carissa. What are some ideas for making virtual parties fun and festive? Well, Zoom is amazing. There's lots of things you can do. And one of my favorite things is a family lip sync battle. <laughs> um, you might have seen this on Jimmy Fallon. He's done it with a few guests. But ahead of time, schedule with your kids, friends, and their parents to everybody pick a song, get some props, some costumes, even like some light dance choreography, um, and have everybody do like a lip sync challenge to a song. You can even vote after and have prizes. Um, if you have a relative or a loved one like a grandma on the mainland have her send you a recipe of a favorite christmas cookie that maybe you would have made together if you were um, in the same place and you can still bake together and you know talk story while the cookies are in the oven and then eat them together afterwards there's still lots of things you can, you can do even online you're like charades and a scavenger hunt um, there's lots of cool ideas on pinterest as well if you want some help coming up with these clues and that's just a great idea, especially during this pandemic where we're not going to be able to see a lot of our families during Thanksgiving and we're going to miss their food especially. So go ahead, ask Tutu for that recipe and you can help her just via Zoom and you guys can cook that all together. Uh, so uh, tell me, here's your next question. Any other advice for parents who want tips for a successful online experience? Absolutely. I mean, the first thing I would say is connect with your child's teacher and establish a good relationship with her or him. Um, we're all on the same team here. We all want your children to succeed. We all care about their social emotional health. And so reach out, ask your teacher for some ideas on how you can reinforce whatever they're learning in the classroom at home. Um, ask your curriculum and how are we doing in science? What kind of science experiment can I do with my child at home? I'm asking about history. What kind of YouTube videos can we be watching together? Um, what kind of books can we be checking out? Um, another thing I would say is for those of you who still are online, I know my kids are finally transitioning back into the class now, um, but resist the temptation to provide too much assistance. I know sometimes when your kids here, it's easy to point out what they need to fix or to kind of read the word for them. Um, but really the challenging and moments of struggle um, are where your kids are learning and where they're developing grit. So I would say allow your child to have some safe, you know, small failures and minor setbacks so that they can develop a good work ethic. Um, especially in lower grades, as you mentioned, I'm in first grade, we're really trying to teach our kids how to learn and to develop the skills to be comfortable with struggle especially in an age where we're so um, about like what's a quick fix. We really want our kids to learn how to develop those problem solving skills and critical thinking skills. And that's amazing and definitely had trouble with that because we're parents, we're at home, we can't help but try to fix their mistakes right there. But yes, we got to give them space and help them to just have a fun learning experience. Yeah, and ultimately, 
yeah, these are the times that your kids will remember. You can make every moment special. I mean, what a gift in a way that we're all at home and get all this time together. Sometimes it feels like too much time. Um, but at the end of the day, it's more meals at home around the table. You get to talk story, make up your own jokes, make up your own songs. Um, it's a great time. And so you can make the most of it and your child will remember it for, you know, all the love and the time that you've spent with them. Great. Thank you so much to Carissa Connell for all the great good to know ideas to help us keep things fun and festive this holiday season. Thank you to you and all your, especially your class over there, my, my elementary school. You stay safe and uh, thank you for everything you do. Yeah. Thank you so much. Aloha. Aloha.